What's up guys, before it gets dark, just wanna do a quick little video for the uh, Mazda Speed 3 owners out there. Um, these stock coolant tanks are fucking junk, to say the least. Um, they crack all the time. This is my third one, and you can see cracks all along the front. You can see all the uh, epoxy everywhere as well. Uh, that's because this one, like I said, is my third one. This one broke. Um, and I couldn't get one in. Nobody had one in stock. None of the parts stores sell them. None of the wrecker yards had these cars. Nobody had a parts car I could find, nothing like that. So I went ahead and ordered this nice aluminum one from Graveyard Performance. Uh, it cost me around 300 bucks if I remember right, but to me that's well worth it because like I said, that is my third one of those. I'm sick of either getting stranded or having my car overheat, any of that stuff is no good to me. Uh, I mean, even when it comes to your paint, I need to wash this thing. It's kind of hard to see at the angle it's at, but the uh, the whole fender is covered in residue from the coolant from when this one broke again before I epoxied it. Um, but yeah, this one finally came in. Like I said, all aluminum. And to me, worth the price just to know that I will never have that problem again. So taking it out is super easy. Uh, it's just these two 10 mils right here. Uh, and then you have hose clamp here, hose clamp here. And then once you get the power steering reservoir out of the way, you'll see on the bottom, there's a third cooling hose uh, that has hose clamp on it. Just take that off and then this thing will come right out. So like I said, it comes out super easy. Um, there's still coolant in here. So I'm gonna try not to spill it everywhere. Um, but yeah, when I'm talking about these things just crack like crazy. See, there's one. And you can see all the epoxy, and underneath all of that epoxy, you can see all the cracks that were either starting or that were already there. Um, and I mean, like I said, it's just unfortunately a common thing with these. You can see it's cracked along the bottom there. If I flip it, you can see the other side as well. It was all cracking under it. And like I said, it's not uncommon. Here's the uh, one from my other speed, which I had in that car originally. And you can see this one split right next to each other twice, uh, up the whole entire thing. And then it was starting to crack in other places as well and just do the same thing. But like I said, it's kind of unavoidable with the, the cheap plastic that these are made with, especially after uh, all the years of operation on these cars. I mean, this one is a 2008, and then my other one's a 2007. So either way, I mean, you're talking 12 years plus of this plastic just heating up and cooling down, heating up, cooling down, and then having coolant go through it as well, and just tearing it up over time. But yeah, so here's the new one. Uh, it's gonna reuse the stock cap up top. Um, and then this fitting here is just for a bleeder. Basically, I mean, in case it gets overfilled or whatever. Um, so I'll probably just take a little piece of hose and run it down through the side of my fender um, and just leave it down there just in case for whatever reason it ever backs up out of here. It'd be really nice to put this in and not ever have to worry about one of those breaking again. Cause like I said, that's my third one and all three times it has happened at probably the worst time it could have where either I can't find one or it leaves me stranded somewhere Super easy install. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom hose on first because you can kind of do it up out of the way and then set it down in there and then get those top two hoses on. And then we'll go ahead and mount this and the power steering reservoir back in and then fill it up and bleed it. And just like that, it's in there. Um, the only thing you are gonna have to do, or at least that I had to do, I'm not sure if they forgot to thread it or if they forgot to put an insert in it or whatever the case may be. Uh, I had to get a 10 mil nut, not that I can show you it under there really, but I had to get a 10 mil nut to put on the back side of the stock 10 mil bolt that holds the power steering reservoir to the coolant tank, uh, just because there was nothing there to hold it. So yeah, if yours comes like that, just like mine did, then you're gonna have to put a nut on the back side to be able to tighten that and mount your power steering reservoir. 
The only thing I don't really like about it is the way it leans. I mean, it doesn't affect the performance of it or anything, but for me, it's just, it's not perfect. So it bugs the shit out of me. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I'm probably going to end up heating up this bracket and bending it up so it sits straight. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, it uh, seems to be a pretty nice piece. I mean, obviously time will tell, but I'm really hoping that with the metal construction of this versus the old plastic, it should never have an issue leaking. But I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up right now and check for leaks. And if there's no leaks, we'll be good to go. So there it is. Uh, I did end up bending this tab up right here, not only for my OCD, but also because the way it was leaning before, it was sitting on the top of the motor mount and was vibrating around and I didn't want that to end up causing a crack. So I heated it up and bent it so it's straight. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Like I said, really simple install. Two bolts, three hoses, and uh, fill it and bleed it and you're good to go.